Muchas gracias por tener este pequeño encuentro con, conmigo. Thank you very much for having this meeting with, with me. Eh, la idea del encuentro es eh, poder conversar sobre eh, bueno, aspectos en los que podemos colaborar los eh, dos países, nuestras empresas, eh, y eh, un poco quería saber qué esperan del foro y ponernos a disposición desde el Ministerio de Industria, Comercio y Turismo eh, para eh, atender eh, cuáles son bueno, las necesidades que, que tienen en el país y, y poder conocer un poquito mejor sus empresas. Creo que ese es un poco el, el, el fondo de la reunión. Me gustaría que se presentasen y nos contaran un poquito las expectativas de sus empresas y bueno, pues cómo podemos desde el Ministerio acompañarles y eh, convencerles de que España es una oportunidad para invertir. So uh, the idea of this meeting is just to have an informal talk uh, about the different aspects that may interest you and may interest us that we can see that can help us to collaborate, uh, collaborate companies but also collaborate in terms of country. Um, I'd like to know what are your expectations of the, of the forum because from the Ministry of Industry, Commerce, uh, the Trade and Tourism we want to know what are your needs, what, what, how can we assist you to establish this collaboration. So I would kindly ask you to introduce yourself, uh, what you, what's your company, what do you expect from the forum, and how do you think we can help, us, uh, help you from the ministry? Perfect. Sure. Because, sorry, because we want to convince you that you need to invest in Spain. <laughs> yes. Well, uh, well, I'm Gurmeet Singh Sodi. I'm... Um, Gurmeet Singh Sodhi, I'm Minister for Sports, Youth Affairs and NRI Affairs in Punjab, which is a leading state and uh, the state of Punjab is known for food basket of India. So we are on the Pakistan border and um, uh, there's a lot of scope, so rest I talk later. Thank you. My name is uh, Narendran. Uh, I'm here uh, as a Vice President of CII, Confederation of Indian Industry, which is uh, the largest uh, industry body in India. I have a few colleagues from different industries as part of the team. Uh, CII has been at the forefront of leading a lot of government to government and government to industry conversations. And we are happy to assist and build the relationship between Spain and India where I believe there are a lot of opportunities. My day job is uh, as a CEO of Tata Steel. Uh, Tata Steel is a 30 million ton steel group, part of the Tata Group, which is uh, one of the largest uh, in the world. And we have uh, 10 million tons of steel production in Europe, in Netherlands and in the UK. And uh, from a steel point of view, we sell steel into uh, Spain from uh, Netherlands to the automotive industry. Dilip mm Duval. -hmm. Managing Director of Krishna Hydro Projects Private Limited, representing International Hydro Association, Himalayan Power Producers Association, and the uh, my own group of OPG group, which is listed in London. We are in four industries: agri, steel, power, and logistics. The keen interest in Spain is the dialogue with Axonia to get the hydro projects and the power projects together in India. And uh, we've been trying. And the Spanish ambassador in India has been uh, kind enough to get the things little moving. But it is still pending. The things are not getting to the right direction. That is one of the expectations. And the other aspect is IE University can do much better in the media and school of film industry because Spain has got beautiful locations and Spanish wine yards are more beautiful for shooting films of Bollywood and Hollywood. And, and the and the Segovia has got a heritage stuff. So I think I University should look at film school and media school in, intensively. And the Icelandic government, where I work very aggressively, uh, they are also looking at the Iceland film school are looking at a joint venture with us in India. 
So that can be a tripartite understanding between Spain, India, and Iceland. Thank you. Hola, namaste. I am uh, Praful Talera. I represent uh, the CIA Latin America Caribbean. Uh, I'm on the committee of CIA, and we look at Spain as a gateway into Latin America uh, for trade, and that's why logistics is very important. As far as our company is concerned, we are a company focused on defense and energy logistics. Thank you. Hi, good, uh, good morning. My name is Richard Rickey. I used to be the CEO of KPMG in India, uh, and uh, we have been uh, we've done a lot of reform, done a lot of reform works for the government in India, central and state government. In fact, Punjab is also one of the state governments where we've been helping on the investment promotion. So, um, in fact, right from ease of doing business to a lot of the reforms in India, we have been very worked very closely with the government of India in trying to bring those reforms, and we're very happy to see the results. Uh, we also work a lot of cross-border work. We have a very strong Spanish practice uh, here. So we work on cross-border deals. And uh, currently, I'm the board member of KPMG UAE and Oman. And uh, one of the things which I do is uh, look for uh, European companies coming into India, supporting them in the India. Similarly, looking for Indian companies which want to expand into Europe. And this is a very interesting time for Indian companies looking at Europe opportunities, uh, especially in areas of agri, areas of technology, uh, aerospace. These are few areas where uh, Indian companies have got a lot of interest to go out. And also looking to see how they can um, explore the European market through a joint venture or through acquisition in Europe at the moment. So, uh, and I think he said it right that Spain is a gateway into Latin America. So, it's just not about Spain, but it's about the larger Latin American market. How do you look at it? So, this is my thank you. Now, if you may comment, I just want to add something. Uh, the India is just embarking on a program of uh, shipbuilding for nation building. And Spain has got a lot of strengths in those areas. I look forward to a lot more engagement. Thank you. Sorry. Renuka Singh from the Confederation of Indian Industry. We are also partners with Horasis for the past nine years. And uh, CII is one of the apex industry bodies. We bring to the table about over 7,000 members and of all Indian industry members. Many of them you see here today. Hello, Hello. Namaskar. My name is Anil Chaudhary. I represent Schneid Electric. I'm president of Schneid Electric in India. They also invested in uh, Spain already. As part of my mission here, I am here to for sure share that how the multinationals can make India as a big uh, market as well as a country. We are about 20,000 people uh, there. We are 24 manufacturing sites. And it has been a, sust a sustainable story for us. So as part of my mission, I'm sharing that with my colleagues here. You, you. Good morning. I'm Vijay Sambamurthy. I'm the founder and managing partner of Lexogen, which is an India-based law firm. So while we are actually an India-based law firm, we do a lot of cross-border work. A large part of our work is multi-jurisdictional. And um, we have an office in Singapore as well. So um, my interest in this informal meeting and in Spain is uh, twofold. Firstly, we do a lot of work with um, infrastructure companies and with high growth technology companies, which are two different streams of opportunity in the Indo-Spain corridor. Because I think there's a lot of opportunity for Spanish infrastructure players, which are already there in India. And there is also scope for a lot of technological cooperation between uh, startups in India and in Spain. And the second hat which I wear is um, I do a lot of mentoring of startups. So I've been a long-term uh, charter member of this organization called the Indus Entrepreneurs or TAI as it's more popularly known. And I'm also on the NASCOM uh, panel of mentors. So. Uh, the second stream of uh, opportunity that I see is there's a lot of 
uh, scope for cooperation between uh, startups in the two ecosystems in India and Spain. So that's my interest in me. So thank you for making the time for this informal forum. Yeah. Madam, I am Prakash Hinduja, Chairman of the Hinduja Group Europe. My concern is that Spain is the country which is a leading uh, country in EU and European Union is playing a very important role in the European countries. And if Spain becomes the leader in the EU country and comes as a consortium to India, then what happens, all the multinational companies of the EU countries can join hands on the major projects which are today like infrastructure, technology, so that Make in India can be a, a main priority for all the EU country and Spain becomes the leader of all the EU countries and takes them to India and becomes the consortium the whole plan. Now KPMG has the head office, has the office also in Spain and they play a very important role and they have done projects in Saudi Arabia with Germany, you know Spain and Germany has done a project in railway, railway is also another big project in India you can come in a big way. Moreover there are films, the story about the old Maharaja you know, who had a love with a flamingo girl and this was a Bollywood co-production can be brought into the historical tie-up of the co-production plan can be done. And further, Hinduja group is in 40 countries. We had a pleasure of meeting His Majesty and we are in the in the area where we were tying up with OHL, which is a very big, you know, in Latin America and Mexico. So, so the Spain and Latin America and India can create a tripartite. This is the second plan which I'm giving you. The first plan was with EU. The second plan is Spain, Latin America, and India can tripartite work together, which will bring a lot of win-win situation and opportunities and here again KPMG can play a very important role in bringing this projects and plan together and I should congratulate you for your new for the new prime minister which has been elected and I hope that you will play a very important role and continue as a commerce minister so that our best wishes are with you so that we hope that uh, India and Spain can bring a lot of... And I remember our president, Pratibha Patel, she was in Spain. The first president who came to Spain, and I was accompanying her with the delegation. And that time, after that, the World Bank meeting took place over here. The World Bank meeting was happened over here and we had a finance minister from India who was here as well. So again I was with, with that conference over here. So I wish you all the best that India's Spain relations should grow in a big way. Thank you very much. Bueno, pues eh, muchas gracias. Creo que todos compartimos un objetivo común que es eh, reforzar las relaciones comerciales y de inversión entre India y España y este foro, eh, como eh, los encuentros eh, que ha habido entre eh, yo como ministra de Comercio y su homólogo, pero también la visita del ministro de Exteriores a India. Y espero que una futura visita del presidente, que está en la agenda y que esperemos se pueda sustanciar eh, a lo largo del año, sin duda, eh, son ejemplos de que... Eh, Todos estamos convencidos de que tenemos que trabajar eh, para que nuestras empresas puedan eh, eh, exportar lo mejor, su mejor conocimiento, su mejor modelo de negocio a ambos países.
Thank you, thank you, everyone. It's clear that we all have the common a common objective, which is reinforcing the relationship between India and Spain, both for trade, investment, and for both countries. So uh, this uh, forum and many other occasions, uh, because uh, me as the Minister of uh, tr um, Trade and Tourism and your Minister, uh, have got um, the same idea and we are f working on the same line and we, know, and, um, we have had ministers that have gone to, to visit your country and even the president's agenda has got a visit planned to your country. We still have to see how we're going to be able to organize it but it's going to be for sure in 2018 you will receive the visit of our, of our president. All these are examples of how we are all convinced that we have to work in the benefit of our companies to be able to export knowledge but also business models that will help both countries to develop their our relationship. Como comenté en mi intervención en esta mañana, eh, una de las palancas que este gobierno está impulsando es la internacionalización, eh, tanto para acompañar a nuestras empresas a eh, terceros mercados como para atraer inversión extranjera eh, en un momento donde España tiene unas bases sólidas de crecimiento y hay innumerables oportunidades para, para invertir, como eh, repito, he señalado en, en la intervención que he hecho esta mañana en el foro. So that, as I said in, during my presentation in the forum, um, we have to use these uh, occasions, we have to use these intentions as a lever. Spain has one of, one of its major le uh, levers based on internationalization of its companies. We want to help companies, Spanish companies that want to go to third parties, but we also want to help foreign, country, uh, foreign companies wanting to invest in Spain. So Spain has got a very solid uh, growth situation that is going to bring many, many opportunities for investing in our country. Hay elementos que han señalado como eh, el papel que España va a jugar en la Unión Europea. Creo que los buenos resultados de las elecciones europeas nos sitúan en eh, un escenario muy bueno para, no sé si liderar la Unión Europea, pero sí ser determinantes en las decisiones que se tomen en los próximos años. Um, there are a few elements that uh, you've touched upon, such as the role that Spain has in the EU. Well, the results of the European elections have been very good and uh, are very promising. And I don't know if we will be able to be the leaders of the European Union, but for sure we're going to be one of the key elements or one of the major uh, role players and we'll, we'll be determining when the EU will have to take decisions. Y en este marco creo que es importante darle un impulso al acuerdo de libre comercio entre la Unión Europea e India, como lo estamos haciendo ahora en estos días con Mercosur, otra de las áreas económicas sin duda que van a contribuir también a eh, reforzar el sistema multilateral. Y yo me comprometo eh, como ministra de Industria, Comercio y Turismo del Gobierno de España en el caso de que continúe en este cargo de impulsar en los foros europeos en el, 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 el relanzar este acuerdo que sin duda eh, nos va a permitir eh, incrementar eh, las relaciones comerciales y de inversión, pero yo siempre digo que además pues también las relaciones personales que eh, siempre están detrás de las eh, inversiones que hacen nuestras empresas. So, um... It's really important in the sense to foster free trade agreements uh, that we might have between the EU and India, as we're doing with Mercosur, which is going to be also very useful for our relations. Uh, um, so myself, I, I can tell you that I can commit myself as a minister, a minister of uh, the tur a tourism industry and trade, that if I still am in my chair, I will do my best to foster um, this agreement between the EU and, and, and your country because we have to make this relationship grow, we have to uh, make the trade and investment agreements grow and improve, but not also these kind of relations. The, the personal relations that we have that all, are always behind these um, relations of trade, we have to foster them and we have to take care of them. And I can promise you that I will do so if I'm still in that job, in my post. Yeah. Yeah. One more. Sí. Hay dos elementos que han señalado eh, que me parecen importantes también ponerlos en la agenda. Uno es eh, España como plataforma eh, para eh, 
acceder al mercado latinoamericano y también al mercado europeo y creo que aquí tenemos eh, que desarrollar eh, y profundizar en estas relaciones y eso lo analizaremos en, en la propia en la próxima comisión mixta eh, bilateral de comercio para poder firmar eh, un memorándum de entendimiento de colaboración en terceros mercados. And there are two elements that you've uh, other two elements that you have touched upon. Uh, one of them is the fact that Spain can be and is a platform to enter Latin America, but also to enter the EU. We have to work on that. We have to. Uh, uh, use this uh, opportunity as, as a platform. And of course, we will analyze this, uh, this uh, feature in, the, in our next bilateral meeting so that we can, find a, uh, we can sign a memorandum, uh, a memorandum of understanding between both countries. Sorry, thank you. Uh, I just wanted to know from the Honorable Minister that uh, uh, if any Indian want to invest in Punjab, in, uh, in Spain, from Punjab or any part of the India, could you define the fields of uh, investment, whether it is agriculture or it is a tourism or it is a film industry or uh, are you giving any subsidies or, or uh, any kind of benefit to the people who would be coming here in their uh, tax or uh, other rebates? So I just wanted to know a few uh, fields where we can come and uh, ask our people to invest here. So, Madam Sahaja, shall I add one point for the next Mr. Minister? You know, in, uh, you see, in Italy, in Italy, we have a lot of people from Punjab have acquired lands of agriculture and they are doing this agriculture in a big way. And you see, in Italy, if they do in Italy, why not in Spain also? This is for your information I would like to provide you. And your Italian ambassador, your Spanish ambassador in, uh, in Madrid can get the information for you that how many farms have been acquired by the uh, Punjab, uh, you know, Sikh community over there. And they're successfully living over there. Sí, eh, bueno, en relación con, con las ayudas, eh, contamos, y yo empezaría y lo he señalado antes, primero con un, un marco jurídico estable. Hay mucha seguridad jurídica en España para invertir y eh, creo que fruto de ello, el año pasado fuimos el quinto receptor de inversión mundial, lo cual eh, creo que eh, es bueno porque uno cuando invierte, invierte normalmente para un periodo de medio y largo plazo y por lo tanto la seguridad jurídica es uno de los elementos que siempre me gusta destacar en los encuentros con, con vosotros con los empresarios. So, uh, there are many benefits uh, that Spain has for foreign investors. The first one and for and the most important ones is that we've got a very stable legal framework. Um, that is uh, seen uh, that was seen last year we were we were the fifth country receiving international investment. When we do business, we want to do business for a mid and long term. So having a stable legal framework gives the basis to be able to, to, be able to, set, uh, to set the co a company in the country. Y bueno, otro elemento al que hacía referencia tiene que ver con la fiscalidad. Existe también en España una fiscalidad favorable a la inversión extranjera. Eh, te contamos con eh, un eh, instituto que es el ICES y dentro de él Invest in Spain que eh, les puede proporcionar toda la información eh, para que conozcan y puedan eh, asesorar a sus empresas en el caso de que quieran eh, conocer el mercado español y cuáles son eh, las herramientas y esos beneficios fiscales eh, que, pueden, que pueden aplicarse. And you were referring to fiscal benefits. And of course, uh, Spain has got fiscal policies that benefit the entry of foreign investors. We have the ICX, uh, with the, with this, which is the, uh, an institute for, uh, for um, foreign trade. And within the ICX, we've got a program which is called Invest in Spain which provides uh, advice and consultancy services for the foreign companies wanting to settle in Spain. So if your uh, companies, your peers want to come and get that information on fiscal benefits or any kind of benefit or, or help that can be given by the Spanish government, they will be able to provide that information.
I would uh, suggest uh, the Honorable Minister that as uh, Punjab is very well known in the agriculture uh, sector and our people have uh, so much done hard work, they have converted deserts into fertile land, which was deserts they have created, you know, now there is a fruit growing, there is a uh, wheat growing, there is rice growing. If your government can give it on lease, long lease, the land or uh, whatever way you feel it is fit, then our people can come here and completely change the agriculture uh, scenario in Spain. Secondly, they are very good in um, uh, dairy farm, uh, producing milk. You know, the first green uh, white revolution was brought in India was from the Punjab. So our people are doing great business in Italy and uh, various other places, Germany. They, they are uh, producing uh, different kinds of fruits. Maybe also in um, uh, America, Canada, they are big growers of uh, almonds growing and uh, cherry and um, uh, vineyards. So they are very good if your government can extend some kind of uh, benefits on this field, I think you will get a lot of people from Punjab to come here, invest and make a, a better model in Spain. Es un, creo que área eh, muy importante eh, para valorar eh, una colaboración más estrecha, puesto que España tiene eh, un gran problema en estos momentos, que es la despoblación del medio rural y eso supone también dejar de cultivar bueno, pues muchas hectáreas de terreno. Por lo tanto, analizaremos eh, eh, su oferta, poder determinar un plan de actuación para recuperar eh, como digo, espacios eh, que ahora mismo no se están cultivando y poderlos poner a disposición para que empresas que están interesadas eh, puedan eh, venir a España e invertir, insisto, en un medio rural eh, que se está quedando bueno, pues sin población y donde sin duda hay muchas oportunidades para crear riqueza, crear empleo y, bueno, y disfrutar también eh, de esa España interior que, tiene, que tenemos eh, y que estamos desde el gobierno tratando de impulsar. Um, yes, and it's really interesting and very important what you're talking about. We are going to assess your proposal of collaboration of maybe we could set up a tighter or closer collaboration in this field of agriculture because as you may know Spain right now has got a problem in its rural areas. There are many rural areas that areas that are depopulated and therefore the land is not um, cult is not um, used uh, to produce anything. So we listen with careful attention to your proposal. We will analyze it, and we will, <coughs> why not? We will think about a plan to recover these rural areas, allowing your people come, uh, to coming to repopulate our these areas that are no longer inhabited, no longer used, and um, areas that have got many opportunities to uh, to develop and to uh, to live and to advance and to enjoy not only from the, the uh, products that are produ produced, but also to enjoy from the inner Spain that we have, which is also very nice. That's, thank you very much, but I would request Mr. your uh, uh, the Honourable Minister's Mr. office Mr. to Mr. send me uh, a detailed brief on this so that we can uh, further move on it and I bring up this uh, issue with my government and then we can send a team from there and then we can work and uh, uh, we can have a bilateral or uh, uh, we can invite the Honourable Minister there to have a discussion uh, with my Chief Minister and my government. Bien, tomamos nota y pondremos a trabajar a un departamento para que colabore eh, con eh, el desarrollo de este proyecto, que insisto, creo que es un proyecto de futuro por eh, el importante problema demográfico que tenemos en España. So we duly take note. Someone in our, uh, we will, someone in my department will be in charge of producing this report that you need so that we can exchange information and collaborate because it is a really nice and beautiful project which will be very beneficial yeah. for Spain because of the problem that I've just yes. uh, explained. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you very much. I've given my address Muchas to gracias. this gentleman sí, and yes. 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 Thank you. Madam Minister, I have one uh, suggestion uh, on behalf of CII. Uh, you know, CII does something called uh, CII DST which is the Department of Science and Technology, Technology Summit. 
and we believe that technology is an area where India and Spain can work together. And the summit uh, has had partner countries every year. In 2013, it was France. Since then, we've had UK, Canada, Italy, and Netherlands as partner countries. So we would, the heads of state, typically the heads of state of the partner country and India inaugurate the summit. So it is normally planned at a government level, CII coordinates that. We would like Spain to consider to be a partner country for one of the future events because it will set the tone for a technology-led uh, relationship between uh, Spain and India. So if the minister is uh, interested, then I will ask CII, we will write formally to you and then take it forward uh, as you suggest. <coughs> Bueno, le agradezco el ofrecimiento. Sin duda, la ciencia y la tecnología es eh, uno de eh, los aspectos que ya el presidente Sánchez ha señalado como prioritarios para la próxima legislatura. Sí. So, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Um, as you may know, science and technology is one of the key elements, key priorities that uh, the president, Mr. Sánchez, has ex expre expressed it has for this coming term. Desde el Ministerio de Industria estamos eh, trabajando en distintos programas para eh, que eh, todo lo que tiene que ver con los habilitadores de lo que llamamos la industria 4.0 o la economía 4.0 se aprovechen, que nuestras empresas puedan aprovechar habilitadores como eh, la inteligencia artificial, que es ya una realidad, el blockchain. Eh, el otro día estuvimos también eh, visitando HP con todo el desarrollo de la impresión 3D, que va a cambiar la forma de producción eh, de masa a, eh, a nivel eh, mundial y nosotros queremos estar a la vanguardia de ese cambio tecnológico. Myself, as a Minister of the Industry, uh, I can tell you that we're working already in different programs uh, with regards to all the enablers uh, re uh, regarding um, science and technology and with everything that has to do with the uh, industry and economy 4.0 that you might be aware for. And we want, to, our, we want our companies to be able to use these technologies. That's why we're using and we're, going, we're getting through enables. Enablers such as artificial intelligence, blockchain. In fact, a few days ago we were visiting HP uh, because you know that 3D printing is going to change the way in which we're going to produce worldwide. So we want to be at the avant-garde of these changes. We want to be the leaders in these changes. We want to be present in these changes. Thank you. Sabemos de, de India en cuanto a su prioridad también en ciencia y tecnología y creo que podemos establecer ámbitos de colaboración más, inten, más, más reforzada eh, y sin duda bueno, pues esta cumbre eh, puede ser un principio de un eh, trabajo conjunto para hacer ¿no? de la ciencia y la tecnología eh, elementos eh, para modernizar nuestro modelo productivo al que antes también me he referido. So I know and, and we know, it's known that India has got its priority set in science and technology. So yes, I, can think, I think that we can set up a tighter collaboration between both countries to reinforce the relationship we may have. And why not this summit could be the beginning of a collaboration working together uh, on science and technology in order to modernize our business models and our production models. Why not? Yes. Thank you, Minister. We'll follow up. Apro aprovecho para, eh, para invitarle a eh, un congreso, el tercero, eh, que celebramos en noviembre. Es el eh, Congreso de, de Industria 4.0, eh, al el cual tenemos eh, la suerte de que el eh, Rey de España inaugura y puede ser un evento eh, para que eh, conozca mejor su... Eh, su organización, los proyectos que estamos desarrollando en España y eh, conocer el ecosistema español en materia de Industria 4.0. Let me uh, make the most of this occasion and, and uh, extend an invitation to you. We have got a congress in Spain. This year it will take place in November. It will be third congress on Industries uh, 4.0. And this uh, congress is inaugurated by the King of Spain. So I can invite you to come to this Congress because in this Congress you will be able to know more, better know 
who we are, what are the companies in these uh, science and technology world that we have, the ecosystem that we have created in Spain of these industries of 4.0. So I'd like to invite you to come. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody one question? Yeah. Yes. Uh, you know, uh, one thing we have found working in India when we collaborate with other countries is a CEO forum is created between business leaders from both the countries. And the CEOs meet, discuss real business issues, and maybe look at uh, how to take forward maybe areas where Spain is good or India is good. You know, both ways. It's a trade which works both ways. So maybe one could consider. Uh, creating a CEO forum between India and Spain. It's worked in other countries, so maybe we can try it here. Yeah. Okay. In France, they have a CEO forum. Yeah, but uh, yeah. uh, the yes. Yeah. Yeah. Madam, I want to thank you very much for uh, giving us this opportunity and you have been here with us. And we will look forward to seeing you and uh, in India as well. And this invitation which you have given us for the month of uh, November for the forum, we will be happy to hear more details about this conference so that we could circulate to the CII members as well as uh, you know, to <coughs> other Indian industrialists who can come during this forum and can able to participate in this. And I want to thank you on behalf of all of our colleagues and all, all the and the minister. Thank you very much. Pues, eh, muchas gracias. Eh, tomamos nota de todos los eh, las propuestas que han surgido creo que son muy interesantes y yo espero eh, que el presidente pueda eh, visitarles pronto en el segundo semestre y se puedan configurar tanto el foro de CEOs, algo que hicimos ya con la visita del presidente Xi Jinping, creando el consejo asesor, porque efectivamente el foro, los memorándums y eh, futuras colaboraciones entre empresas, pues marcan, como digo, una agenda, una agenda de colaboración que tiene, yo creo que mucho recorrido, porque, eh, bueno, pues ambos países eh, somos economías abiertas cada vez más y buscamos en el comercio internacional, bueno, pues seguir también creando riqueza y empleo. Yo quería dejarles, eh, hemos traído eh, en, en un pendrive una presentación de las oportunidades que hay España, en España para, para invertir elementos eh, que creo que son interesantes para sus empresas eh, y que eh, de cara a la próxima visita podremos profundizar en algunos eh, sectores concretos. También el ministro me eh, refirió a algunos sectores, por supuesto aquí han salido, audiovisual, la industria naval, que también me comentó el ministro de Comercio. Él también me habló del sector de la salud, health, como un sector también importante para su país eh, por eh, el crecimiento que está habiendo también de la población y el envejecimiento. Eh, hay tantos otros que sin duda bueno, pues vamos a poder trabajar en, en esta nueva legislatura con mucha es ganas porque para nosotros, insisto, la política internacional está eh, dentro de una agenda muy intensa que estamos de, desarrollando con estas visitas a, a los distintos países para colaborar. Thank you. Well, um, thank you very much. Uh, thank, I, we take note of all the proposals that we have been hearing this morning. They're really interesting and very necessary. I hope that our president will be able to visit you in your country in the second half of this year. And of course, we will create that uh, CEOs forum that you're talking about. We have done something very similar with the Chinese government. We've got the advisory body. And it's very useful to create these kind of entities because that's when you create an agenda upon which you can start to work and collaborate. So uh, we are open economies. Uh, we are uh, from Spain really devoted to international and trade uh, affairs because that's the way we get we have one of the ways to create employment so uh, please allow me to give you uh, a pen drive with some information about Spain what your and a businessman will find in Spain how they can come to Spain to to settle and um, we've talked about many sectors I uh, was talked before that you India has got an interest not only in agriculture but also <coughs> shipbuilding 
health also it's a very important sector for India because of the growing economy that you have which is also an aging economy so there are many many things we can collaborate on many many topics that we can discuss together because we do have from our policy uh, from our government an intense international agenda we want to uh, collaborate with you as we're doing with other countries so thank you very much thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.